Welcome back everybody. Now today I'm taking a look at a collection of ice cream scoops to see how they compare. That's today's video. So this is actually not my first ice cream scoop comparison. I did one back in 2019 and in that video I was kind of comparing cheap to expensive and this one I'm not really worried about the price as much although it kind of works out that way. This time I really just wanted to get highly rated ice cream scoops on Amazon with a few different designs and see how they actually compare. So these are the scoops I actually picked out for this particular video. These were both $10 which I gotta talk about these in a second. 13, 24, and 27. I'm also going to bring in a guest scoop, and that's the Midnight Scoop, which was one of my top picks back in my 2019 uh, comparison. This one was 35 bucks. I'm going to see how the others compare to this one, because I've actually been using this one ever since then, so this has got two years of use. Still looks no worse for wear. Technically, it's a six uh, scoop comparison, although one is just kind of a guest scoop. Before I get started, let's take a look at the unboxing. Let's take a look at the Gorilla Grip Premium Ice Cream Scoop. Uh, the claims are that it won't bend or break, uh, made of durable zinc alloy, glides through the hardest ice cream without bending, easy to grip handle, makes perfectly curled scoops. The people on Amazon who liked it said it was durable, comfortable, creates nice round scoops. Those who didn't like it said it didn't last long, doesn't glide through ice cream as claimed. How about the Spring Chef Ice Cream Scoop? This is a 10 bucks, an Amazon's number one bestseller. It has an impressive 4.9 star rating among over 20,000 reviews, which is crazy. It claims are dishwasher safe, no moving parts, makes perfect scoops. The people who like it on Amazon said it's sturdy, cuts through hard ice cream easily. Now there aren't a lot of negative reviews on this, but those who didn't like it said it chipped or peeled and some said it didn't give round scoops. How about the Balsy Ice Cream Scoop? This cost me 13 bucks and it's also an Amazon's choice. Uh, the claims are that it's solid stainless steel, highest quality materials, effortless cutting through frozen solid ice cream. No need to wait for it to thaw, dishwasher safe. Now those on Amazon who like this said it was heavy and durable, uh, easily scoops through frozen ice cream. No need to let this ice cream sit out before you scoop it. Uh, the cons said it was no better than a regular spoon, not as good for hard ice cream as claimed. How about the Z-Roll 1010ZT? This is the Zero Lawn Scoop. This was not available on Amazon when I was trying to buy it. Of course it is now, but I bought direct from the website for 22 bucks, 576 shipping, 185 tax, so uh, just under 30 bucks for this one. I bought it direct because it was out of stock on Amazon. Now it's on Amazon, but not at the website. On Amazon right now, it's about 24 bucks. The claims are that it has hard anodized coating, creates larger looking scoops, heat conductive liquid in the handle that warms from your hands, not dishwasher safe. So this model's been used since 1935. Those on Amazon who liked it said it was great for hard ice cream, easy to use and durable. Those who didn't like it said it does not warm up from your hands and is no better than an ordinary scoop. And this very unassuming looking box is the Thrifty Style Scoop. It doesn't really have a name, I'm just calling it the Thrifty Style Scoop because this is a style that was popularized by Thrifty many years ago. Uh, I paid 27 bucks for this. Now there actually was one that claimed to be the Thrifty Scoop, but the reviews, people were saying it wasn't the real thing. People were complaining about that one. This one seemed to have better reviews, so I picked this one up instead. Uh, the claims are that it scoops out a perfect cylinder every time. A spring power trigger, whoa. Used to dispense the ice cream, nostalgic design. People who liked it on Amazon said it easily slices into solid ice cream, easy to use, easy to clean. Those who did not like it said it was difficult to use and not easier than a regular scoop. All right, real quick, before I go any further, I have to talk about these two $10 scoops. Now, you might notice they look kind of the same. Um, I didn't, when I ordered them, I didn't realize how similar they were. From the picture, they looked similar, but in, after holding them, they look almost identical. I was considering just dumping one of these two and using one, but forget it, I'm just gonna do both of them, right? I would have noticed that the Spring Chef is slightly heavier, slightly larger. I don't anticipate much of a difference between these two, but I'm gonna use them both anyways, why not? All these are highly rated, so I expect all of them to do well. So let's get started with the hard as a rock ice cream and see how it does. All right, it's already time for a timeout. I haven't got started yet. You might notice that I've got different clothes on. I've got a few more days growth on my beard and that's because my first round that I tried was a complete disaster. Not because anything went wrong with the camera or the ice cream scoops or my technique. It was the ice cream I bought was just too soft. I, did, I didn't realize that was a thing. Apparently I bought Briar's ice cream because I thought maybe people would want to see a name brand being used, but apparently Briar's has a problem with being too soft for some people. I don't know. So I bought a different brand and today I'm going to try take two and see if this actually works. So here's what we got. Hopefully Lucerne can come through for us this time. 
This seems a lot firmer than the other than Briars did. What I want to do first is try the thrifty style, even though that's kind of not really in the order that I was going to do it. But because it's kind of this weird shape, it's not a scoop. I just want to see if it can go straight into this hard ice cream. Let's try one and see how it goes. Oh, it's going right into it. Oh, wow. It just easily penetrated it. Now you just kind of push the trigger. Oh, wow. Let me try another one. And this ice cream is not particularly soft either. You can go for multiple scoops, multiple layers. Hey, I like that one. Well, I'll get back to this one a little bit later, but let me try some of the other scoops first. All right, what I had to do is remove the top layer because there's a lot of crystallization on there. Let me try starting over again and seeing what I can form. All right, in no particular order, let me try the balsy here. All right, we're getting a ball. We're getting a ball from the balsy. And it's cutting through it pretty good, actually. It's not a perfectly formed round ball, but it's not, it's not too bad. I'm not sure about that thin tip. It, it's good for cutting through it, but not as good for forming, in my opinion. Let's try the Gorilla Grip. It has a much wider opening on the top. I feel like the Gorilla Grip, just because of its wider opening, forms a, a... It's not perfect, but it's better. The very similar Spring Chef now. I'm not seeing a huge difference between the two of these, this one and the Gorilla. The spring chef is a little heavier, but I am able to form a pretty good ball with both of them, really. I mean, that's kind of what you want. It's maybe not perfect, but it gives you a pretty good demonstration. And this ice cream is pretty hard, too. So far, the first three have cut through it pretty well. Well, for the first four, really, because the thrifty style actually cut through the crystallized and the hard part together. Let's try the Z-roll now. Z-roll feels really nice in my hand. It's very solid. I can get a nice, perfectly round scoop. Look at the scoop. Z-roll scoop looks, it looks pretty good. Z-roll spring chef. I feel like the Z-roll, it's kind of, it's kind of winning so far. Let me go back to the, uh, the 2019 midnight scoop and see how that does. I don't feel like it's forming a ball as well as, as the others have. It's cutting through the ice cream, no problem. And it feels really good in the hand. I mean, yes, there's some technique involved with this, but I do feel like in round one, the easiest of those was the Z-roll. Even the Midnight Scoop is cutting through it, but I'm not getting that perfectly round shape. I would say for a quick round one, Z-roll took the prize. Now that it's harder, let me try in here with the thrifty style, because that's the other thing, is how deep can you go with this thing when, when you have this big handle here? Let's try it out. I guess you can kind of go on the side. Wow, it pushes right through it. I kind of like this thrifty style because it doesn't seem to matter if it's hard, soft, crystallized. It goes through it pretty much like butter and dispenses it easily as well. All right, let's start round two. This one should be a little bit harder than the last one. We'll see how it goes. This one doesn't look like it's as crystallized as the chocolate, so I think I can go right off the top for this one. All right, let me just pick a random one. Let's go with the, uh, the Spring Chef with a nice wide opening. On the harder ice cream, Spring Chef looks pretty good. Let's do the uh, nearly identical Gorilla right after the Spring Chef and see how it goes. I have a hard time really even telling the difference when I'm holding these, how similar these two are. They're very similar, but pretty good though. Let's do our guest scoop, the midnight scoop, and see how that goes. This one really glides across the, the harder ice cream. First time around, my, my main focus was how well they went through hard ice cream. This one, I'm kind of focusing more on how well I can form a nice rounded scoop. Uh, I'm not as impressed with the midnight scoop as I am some of the others as far as the roundness goes, but it's really good at cutting through hard ice cream. It's great at cutting through hard ice cream, but the roundness, eh, depends. If you're not doing round scoops, it doesn't really matter. This is still a good option. Let's go with the Z-Roll. There's a lot of different ice cream scooping techniques out there. I'm trying to use one kind of geared more toward getting a nice round scoop. Something about the shape of this just, it seems like I'm having the easiest time making a nice round scoop. Balsy. That pointed tip, I'm not, I'm not a fan of, I'm, I'm finding myself using more of the side than the tip itself, which is not, not really a problem. 
that actually seems to bode pretty well for it. But I feel like I get a little bit less dexterity in my scooping technique when I have that thin tip off to the side, but not bad. Really, actually, it's kind of better the second time. And finally, let's, uh, let's do the thrifty style. I'm gonna go off the side here. Oh, and this ice cream is much harder and still no problem. It's a whole different experience, but quite impressive. Every one of these scoops is very good. Unlike my first test when I was kind of doing cheap too expensive, I really picked all high quality, highly rated scoops, and I can see why every one of them is pretty good. I would say the quickest. I mean, if you're, if you're doing ice cream cones, this will fly through it much faster than even the regular scooping technique. So, I don't know, something to consider. Here's the two that look kind of the same, the Gorilla and the Spring Chef. In the middle here, you have the Z-Roll and the Balsy, which I think they both look pretty good. The Midnight Scoop, I think, is the least impressive. And then here we have the Thrifty. All of them very good. I'm kind of leaning towards the two in the center and the Thrifty. Let's keep going and see if anything changes. All right, let's just keep going with this now. Let's try the Gorilla Grip again. Gorilla, pretty good, quick, pretty quick. Spring Chef. Trying to form a nice, uh, nice round scoop here. Because they've all kind of proven that they can cut through the hard ice cream already. So I'm just trying to get some of the nuances here. Spring Chef. This balsy with this thin tip is, is I'm going to say at this point, it's probably my least favorite. I can get a scoop. I'm just, it's not as, it's not as easy and not as impressive. Let's try Z-Roll next. I don't know, man. I just think the Z-Roll just goes quicker. I just like it. I like the Z-Roll. Midnight scoop. Midnight Scoop is good at cutting through the ice cream, just not quite as good at forming. I just, I struggle to get a nice perfect ball out of that. Off the side for Thrifty, one more time. Kind of twist it, pull it out. Man, is that quick. I try to put a little bit more, better order for you. So we have the Gorilla Grip, Spring Chef, Balsy, Z-Roll, Midnight Scoop, and Thrifty. Obviously the technique's gonna be a little bit different between each scoop, I've just found the Z-Roll and the Thrifty to still be my favorites. The Midnight Scoop is best for cutting through the hard ice cream, and the Balsy is my least favorite. I wanted to quickly demonstrate the Thrifty style with a small container. This is the Briars that I tried in the first round. I did not use because it's still, so it's still soft. This has been in my freezer for days. It's still soft. What's up with, with that Briars? I don't understand. Fortunately, the Thrifty style does not have a problem with soft ice cream because it holds it in there. But my question was, what will happen when you get down to kind of halfway through a smaller container? Is it going to reach? Let's find out. Uh, no problem. They're not perfect though. I mean, what happens if you get down here? Now with a, a normal scoop, you could probably at least make some sort of a round shape. But can you with a thrifty? Let's, let's see. I'm just going to shove it in there and see what happens. See what comes out. I went all the way to the bottom on that one. Uh, really, really, really not bad. I think it's still kind of acceptable. I should probably clean this off, but I'm not going to. I just want to see what it, what it can do. Now, let me see about the middle here, because I'm having no problem with the ends. What about the middle? Let me see. Yeah, it's still working. I... Okay, that last one, it's not as tall as the others, and you're probably going to have to use a spoon or something, but really I think that it does a pretty good job even in a small container, surprisingly so. I wasn't sure if it was going to do it, but it did it. You know, testing ice cream scoops is not really the easiest thing because as the ice cream changes in firmness, the effectiveness of the scoop can change. So really this is just kind of a demonstration. It's not an all encompassing test. I should point out that I tried a couple other rounds as the ice cream was getting softer and none of them worked very well when the ice cream was getting soft because soft ice cream is kind of different to scoop. There's really no technique because it's just kind of like lays in the scoop. So I didn't include that in this video. Um, the only one that really did well on the soft ones is Thrifty because Thrifty kind of holds it in place. 
So if you have soft ice cream, the Thrifty is the best as far as that goes. My favorite of these is the Z-Roll because not only did it cut through the ice cream quite well, and in fact, they all did. All of them were really good at cutting through hard ice cream, but this one formed perfectly round scoops easier than the rest. Even better than my 2019 favorite, the Midnight Scoop. And once again, this is not scientific. The technique you use, the ice cream scoops you use will all affect the uh, final results for you. But as far as my test goes, Z-Roll is on top. All right, if you stuck around this long, that video is over, but I got a Q&A kind of thrown at the end here. So let's get right to it with some questions from my community tab. This one says, would you be willing to do a popcorn machine showdown? It's funny you should mention that. I actually ordered some popcorn machines. I'm working on that now. I'm hoping to have that in the next week or two. So stay tuned for a popcorn machine showdown. It's been a highly requested one. I haven't received them yet, but hopefully when I do, I'll give you a good variety and you'll have something to choose from. This person asked, I would like to know the oldest item you have in storage. I know you've reviewed a few Ronco items, but you have any oldest things. The oldest product that I have is a 1958 Ronco chopper. Uh, I've got some boxes from uh, my parents that probably have some older things in there. When I was a kid, I collected coins. I think I have one from the 1700s, but as far as products goes, the 1958 Ronco chopper is the oldest that I have. This person asks, are all of y'all still using the pillows that you picked as your favorites from the pillow video? My kids are definitely still using the ones that they chose. Um, I actually have recently gone back to the purple pillow from the beauty rest. The only reason being is because I need a little bit more thickness because I'm having some shoulder issues. So I kind of need to be off my shoulder a little bit more. So I'm using the purple now, which that's not very thick, but the beauty rest is even thinner. So I would say yes in general. All right, here's a fair question. This person asked, what happened to the mattress review you planned to do that you asked reviewers to submit candidates for? Well, the pandemic happened, that's what happened. I was going to get a, a separate location where I was gonna do some, a mattress comparison. But once everything kind of shut down, I, I just kind of put that idea on hold. Although I'm hoping to do that again soon. I, I haven't forgotten it, but I, with the, with the pan pandemic and the lockdown, the uncertainty, I decided to wait on that one. And the reason I wanted to do that at a separate location is because I don't really want to get rid of my purple mattress in my room because I really like that one still. All right, this person from Greece actually asked if I would see myself doing reviews five, 10, 15, 20 years from now. Five years probably, I can definitely see that. 10 years, I don't know. I, I may have pivoted into something else. 20 years, I, I don't see it. I'm gonna be an old man in 20 years. I think some people would say I'm an old man now. I am in my 50s. So in 20 years, I don't think so. Five years, probably. I don't think my kid, and also I don't think my kids would take over the family business. I don't think that this is really what they want to do. Someone asked if there are any products or categories that I just won't review. Yes, and I will not do gross things like, for example, anything to do with toenail clippings or earwax or anything gross like that, I'm not gonna do it. I don't care how many requests I get for it. I'm not doing the wax vac. I'm not doing, I, I, if I find it gross, I'm not gonna to wanna to present it to someone else. Last question, this person asks, what would your past self think if you told him you would be doing gadget reviews for a living? I think my past self would be very disappointed, not realizing what YouTube was, because it didn't exist back then. But my past self wanted to be, early on, and wanted to be a rock star. Later on, wanted to be a, a music professor and a composer. So I think gadget reviews would have been very disappointing to him. Although it's kind of funny because those things don't interest me anymore now, so I'm not disappointed in what I'm doing. I think that he would have been, not me. All right, well, thanks for sticking around for the Q&A, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.